friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a very soft cataract and the size of the rex is in this case is about 5 mm the diameter of the rex is about 5 mm and see what happens as i do hydro dissection if the rex is size is small say 5 mm or less the nucleus will not prolapse on equator of the nucleus will not prolapse into the anterior chamber so we have to manage the nucleus which is in the capsular bag and now see what happens if we try to hold this nucleus and divide the nucleus by direct chop see what happens as i try to hold this nucleus with vacuum head goes as i try to hold the nucleus i just eat off the material see it in slow motion again the tip is introduced into the anterior chamber some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then the hand piece is turned so that the bevel of the tip of the fecal needle is towards the cornea now and now the tip is buried into the lens mass just in front of the main incision and as i try to bury the tip and hold the lens mass with vacuum of about 350 i cannot hold it see i have removed the lens matter so what i do is i just support the lens mass with the tip and with the chopper i divide the nucleus and then one hemineucleus is mobilized by the chopper and it is emulsified and consumed and this is the other hemineucleus since there is some space now it comes with just by fluid flow and i could divide it by the chopper now this thick epineucleus should not be removed in this way there is a, a risk of catching the posterior capsule if we do this we should do hydro again and tent it off bring it at the central part and then we can remove it by fecal needle or by irrigation aspiration and now since there is only one side port in this case i didn't use by manual i cannot use by manual so i used this simco we can also use a uh, coaxial irrigation aspiration and now see what happens as i try to remove the cortex from the superior aspect cannot get to the cortex easily so i am taking help of some visco making a gap between the anterior aspect and the posterior aspect of the cortex and now i go just behind the anterior capsular rim and remove the cortex Yes now some visco is injected into the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and then a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag 
and now see since the rexis is on the smaller side five millimeter or less the rexis margin is overlapping a large part of the optic of the intraocular lens this is removal of visco from the capsular bag the visco that if it is used for implantation of intraocular lens should be removed thoroughly should give adequate time to remove the visco after using the simco cannula for some time i am going to use this bimanual irrigation aspiration now for removal of rest of the visco irrigation is from the main side main incision aspiration from the side port on the left side and most of the visco has come out almost all this is moxifloxacin now corneal stroma on either side of the side board is nicely hydrated so that this side board closes and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber anterior chamber is nicely formed integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded thank you very very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence